Heavenly Father, today I come to you, Lord, just to say, you are God, Lord. You are the one that has given so much, Lord, and received so little, Lord, and has taken all the time and given all the time to us to get right, Lord. You have been there for us, Lord, from beginning to end, Lord. You have given to us everything that we can see, smell, touch, and feel, Lord. You have been a great God to a ungrateful people at many times, Lord, and we thank you for still being God, Lord, for letting us know why you sit on high, Lord, and we are on low, Lord, because you are great and you do things that we cannot do, Lord. You have a heart that we don't, Lord. You have forgiveness, Lord, that we don't, Lord. You have love, Lord, that is abundant, Lord, and overwhelming compared to anything that we can do, Lord. You have been gracious enough to give us mercy, Lord, and you have been loving enough to give us Jesus Christ, Lord. You have sacrificed for us, Lord. You have been in the mist and the storm, Lord. You have carried us when we have fallen and couldn't move, Lord. You have walked with us when we were alone in our hearts and our minds, Lord. And you have hailed us, Lord, when we were about to fall, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for being God. And we thank you for letting us know why you are God. Lord, we thank you for all that you do for us, Lord, and you do with us and through us, Lord, and the things that will come to us in the future, Lord. And even after our time here has gone to the wayside, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of eternal life, Lord. We thank you for that special day, Lord, that special day when blood was shed, Lord, and atonement was made, Lord, and a covenant was fulfilled, Lord, and everything that Moses, Abraham, and the prophet spoke of became true, Lord. And we thank you for the resurrection, Lord, for the proof that we still needed and for walking with us, Lord. We thank you for all of that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.